YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she got DJ Bishop back again with another video. And what I want to make a video today about is the uh, Chris Vector cleaning the uh, how, to, how to clean the Chris Vector. Now, um, sorry about my station here, but this just kind of really quick. I want to break down what I'm gonna use is uh, the hops, the hops uh, number nine gun board cleaning. I'm gonna use the uh, hops nine uh lubricant i mean you could buy whatever you want but i just looked on youtube this seemed to be uh what everybody's using so i went to amazon and buy these things and then i got simple green all-purpose cleaner because i don't have any alcohol right now for alcohol wipes because this is a dirty process and in the process of cleaning this gun you're going to get it really dirty so um the reason why i'm making this video is because as i was breaking it down only the videos that's out there on youtube is how to disassemble the gun there's no videos showing how to clean it. So I really, I'm not a professional. I'm not a pro. So you guys don't kill me in the comments telling me how I should do it and how what I'm doing wrong. Cause I'm just doing it from my own experience from looking at the gun and I watched the disassemble video. So I figure I'll make a video while I'm learning myself and you guys can watch along with me. Okay. So basically it's already disassembled. So what do you do? You knock the pins out. You got one, two pins here and you got two pins here. So you want to do one, two, three first. You want to do the three outer pins. And once you do the three outer pins, it's going to disconnect like that. And then what I did was take this to the side, file it over there. And then I took the other pin out the bottom. And once you do that, this thing just kind of pops out. And and how it how it, it, it rolls, it's on this little system. As you can see here, this, this is the Super V system. So it's in this little track. So what I'm going to do is clean that track out. Um, I haven't shot it that much. It's really not that dirty, but, you know, I thought it was a little dirty from, you know, I don't know. I just, I've been shooting, I've probably shot, let's see, 90, I probably shot about 300 rounds through it so far. Uh, so I figure maybe it's time to clean it. So as you can see, it gets really dirty. I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the white one. I wanted to buy the white one, but man, look how much dirt is on this thing, oil and grease. So it's on this little track system, as you can see. It's kind of hard to see. I don't have enough light. I, and um, I got a new lighting system coming, so my videos will be a lot better once I get this new lighting system in. So I'm going to just take it all apart right here. So it just all comes out. So this is the, you know, I think this is this the firing pin right here. And then this is the spring load. Okay, I'm back. So, um, so actually, okay, so we took the thing apart here. <coughs> we got it all taken apart, okay? So what I'm going to do, first step I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff here, which is the hops uh, gun cleaner. So what I'm going to do is uh, lube it up a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a kind of a thick oil. So I'm going to clean that up like that. And then what I'm going to do is while that's in there soaking, I'm going to run it through here, which is the chamber. You see that here? I'm going to run it straight through there. And you, this is a uh, matter of fact, you get this with your Chris Vector's uh, system. Okay, let me show you what it is. Uh, kind of getting ahead of myself here. So, when you open, when you buy the Chris Vector gun, you get this like cleaning tube. It's like a, a, a tube here, and you get this end right here. I'm not quite sure what this for. I think maybe you could put the uh, wipes on there, and then you just kind of screw this thing on here, like so. So I'm kind of getting that way ahead of myself here. So this is kind of a messy process. So I screw this deal on here, okay? So now that's kind of a, a washer. So uh, so I put that back in there, dip that up in there like that, lube it up a little bit. You can see that. So just kind of dip that up in there. And then what I want to do is run this through here, run it through the, the uh, barrel here, let that come out the other end, and then take that out like that. And run it through just kind of just straight run it through it's pretty easy just pull it through slowly and gently so it's cleaning that out and that then bristles gonna clean that out like that and I'm gonna do it one more time Try to get all that gunpowder and all that kind of stuff up out of there so I'm gonna kind of twist it this time I'm gonna do it again with the twist and I'm kind of twisting it so the bristles can twist up in there. And then just kind of 
twist it. Mm. Okay, so that should be good on that note. Um, so I'm going to take this off. And then uh, let's see. Get these little these little white things with it too. So what I'm I think the other end is for. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I think what you do is run this through here, like this. Maybe I, I'm not sure. You know, your guess is as good as mine's. But actually, it's not even fitting in there, huh? I have no clue what this is for. Um, because this is not working. This is not gonna fit in there. Um, yeah, that's not fitting in there. That kind of threw me off right there. Okay, all right. So what I then I'll do with that is, um, yeah, I don't know what we can clean that out with. We'll just leave that in there for now. Um, I don't know if I need to really wipe that out. So what I'm gonna do is use this, and and kind of damp this down a little bit. And then what I'll do is use this to clean the uh, track system. So this track system here, we'll clean this all out. Just get up in there and kind of wipe all that out, all that dirty oil. Not sure if that's what this is for, but you know, hey, why not? So we'll we'll clean that whole trail out. Get that all cleaned out. This part too. Get that all cleaned out. That hole right there, get that all cleaned out. Look at all that. You can see all this the specs. I don't know if you can see the shine. That's from all the gun, the, the bullet residue. Just clean up everything. And I wish I could send that through there. That's not gonna be big enough. So then I, I brought some extra deals here about these things here too. So we can uh, get up in there, really get up in these grooves here. Kind of clean that out. Oh, it's pretty dirty. That could be oil too. I don't know how dirty that is, but it could be oil as well. So I'm just kind of getting up in there on that rail system. Now I'm going to flip it around, dip it up in there, and then I'm going to get the other rail, that other rail. I don't know if you can see that, but it's another rail here, the top rail system. Do the other side too, left and right. Okay, nice and dirty. Kind of get up, dig up in there a little bit too. And I'll take the towel again, kind of clean that out. Just kind of get up in there, clean that out, go up underneath, clean that out too. Okay, it seems to be okay. And go up in here and clean that rail system here. Clean that out right there. Same with the other side, left and right side. You look at all that. You can see all that. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it's a lot of shine. Yeah, you can see that shine residue on there you want to get all that out of there so you don't have any hiccups and misfires and stuff like that so i'm trying to clean that out i want to run this through there but it's too thick um i know with my ar i had some other little wipes that i had before uh, let me see some here i think this comes apart let's see if we can um Let's try this. I think I got an idea. Let's wrap it around this. See if this will work. Let's try that really quick here. Let's try to wrap it around there. And let's go like this. Let's see if this will work. Try that real quick, ladies and gentlemen. See if this will fit. It may get jammed. I hope it don't get jammed. So let's see if we can to go through there see if this will work this might just work yeah let's uh let's do it like that it's probably not gonna work no nah, it's not gonna work it's too thick okay so that's too thick so hmm that's sad. Couldn't get that to pull it through there. Now, well, let's just yank this through one more time. Yeah, I wish I could run that through there. So what I need to do later is get some smaller, some smaller deals to go through the board, uh, the barrel. 
Um, and unfortunately, I don't have any because that's all they gave me with the Chris Vector is this. But I know with my AR, I had a, another little small pack. Matter of fact, let me see something here. Hold on. Pause that for a minute. I think I got another deal somewhere here. Oh, where is that at? Where is that at? I got another cleaning, cleaning supply right here. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This one here, this is another little cleaning supply deal I got here. And um, yeah, this one right here might work. This this is the little stuff I need, really. So let's see here. Let's uh get this out here. Stick that up in there. And see on this cleaning supply, you can also use these deals here. These things here, and this will go straight down the barrel, and it'll kind of wipe that barrel out. But that's normally from my that's from my AR though. Um, yeah, let's try this and see how this works out. Let's see here. So just kind of, I'm just kind of using that. Oh, look at that! Putting that up in there, running that through there like so. It comes out. Just kind of twisting it as I go. I mean, it's not gonna really clean it, but just kind of get some of that, that, uh, man, that's dirty. That residue out of there. Just keep twisting that around like so. Okay. That seemed to work, okay. Yeah, that gets it some of it. I mean, you're not gonna get it all. Um, I, mean, I need more of these things. Let me see something here. I think I got more. Let's just see here, folks. Oh, I do got more. Okay. Got a nice little bag here. So, you know, you guys are learning with me. So we're just we're just gonna roll through this together. It's gonna be a long video. So um, you know, you can watch it or you don't watch it. But I mean, if you get the gist of what I'm doing, you could probably turn off right now. But if you want to watch the whole thing, hey, hang out. Let's do it together. So I just run it through there some more. Try to get all the dirt out. That's from all that smoke and gunpowder from the bullet. Just clean it a lot, clean it a little bit. Yeah, that seems to be good. Just getting it. I actually need another thing to really get up in there and get it. Yeah, that's okay. Like that. I mean, you ain't gonna get it spotless, but that'll do. Okay, let's move this spotless to the side here. Put that to the side. Put that to the side. That to the side. Okay. Kind of come back over here. Wipe it a little bit more. Okay. Then come over here. We probably want to get some more cleaning solution. And then just kind of clean this thing off here. Clean that off a little bit. You know, clean all that off. Yep, clean it all off. Uh, clean this rail off here. It's the slide rail that it slides on. Just kind of clean. Man, next time I do this, I'm gonna wear some gloves. My hands is like completely oily and dirty, greasy and dirty, so. Clean that all off. Okay. I'm gonna take this thing off. I'm gonna take this off and clean this off a little bit too. Yep, just clean it. You know, I don't know how clean you want it, but. That should be enough for me. Maybe get a towel. Well, let's get another one of these. Matter of fact, let's just get another one. Get another one of these and just kind of go crazy with it and clean it. Get all that old bullet residue off of there. Okay. Same thing over here. Clean it. Just 
just want to clean everything. And then you want to put it back in there. Okay, so that's how that goes in. I hope that's how that goes in. Let me see here. Yeah, that's how that goes in. Let me make sure. Just making sure that's how that goes back in. Because I don't want to have no problems. Nope, that ain't how that goes in. See, I got it all twisted around already. Jeez. So that's how it goes in like that. I want to think. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I got confused again. Nope, that ain't how it goes. Ah. Okay. We're going to learn this together. So I'm thinking that's how it goes. So that means that goes like that. this thing back together okay yeah like okay hold on why am I having problems with this thing I can't even remember how the heck this thing goes back together so it's got to go okay okay I got it so it goes like that there you go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Man. Yeah, so this is a greasy job, as you can see. It's really greasy. Okay. All right, so we got everything back, put back together. Okay. All right. So after I got it all clean, best is going to get, clean as it's going to get, I'm going to put my tops back on. Okay. Put my tops back on. Now it's time to oil it. So I'm going to use this stuff here. To oil it and what I'm gonna do is just oil the uh, tracks to oil the wheel and oil this thing up a little bit and if you can see here I'm just one drop of oil on there oil the wheel a little bit drop of oil on there and I use this thing here just kind of to lube it up on there get that all up on there like that and then same thing around this slide point here and drop a piece of oil on there. Just kind of lube it up. As you can see here, it just makes sense. I mean, you would think you would want to lube the track, right? That's what this is, a track. You can probably lube this thing up too here. Yeah, because it's a slide. All this is a slide mechanism. So you want to get it all lubed up there so it can slide. Everything slides. You know, so. And you're gonna ask me why do I use this oil? Well, because a lot of people recommended it on on uh, Amazon and and uh, YouTube. So I don't know what's the better oil. Pick whatever oil you want to use and go with it. Okay, so that's oil. Got that oil real good. And what I want to do is drop a slide of oil in these tracks. If you can see. There's two grooves there. You see those two grooves? So I'm going to roll a piece of oil in there. I'm going to roll a piece of oil in there. And just kind of let it let it roll up top. Okay? It's rolling. Just kind of let it ride the rail. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. A drop there. Drop there. Let it race itself all the way to the bottom. Now this is kind of coming out here. Just let it roll all the way to the top. Okay? And now, once that's in there like so, I'm going to put my track in there. I'll put it in there. Okay, put it in there like that. So, and then I'm going to work it. Work the groove. That should be nice and oily in there. Nice and oily. And then I'm going to put this pin back. Uh, now the question is, how does these pins go in here? I think they go this way. <sighs> this is a dirty process. Okay, so that pin's there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, nope, don't put the pin in yet. Take that back out. Not yet. Not yet, folks. Oh, darn it. Slippery. Okay, put that back in there. Yeah, so if you can see it's all oiled up, 
Now, I don't know if you need to oil this part. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I just think you should. Uh, and then let me put a couple drops of oil. I'm going to put a drop or two on this track up here, the upper track. Don't think I need it, but I'll just throw one in there anyway. Okay, those are upper tracks. So now I'm going to just work this thing here. As you can see, I got the oil on the upper tracks. I don't know if you can see that really well, but I put it on the upper track. So now that should be smooth, smooth, the whole track, that whole SV, that track. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not really good, but the whole track is oiled. Okay. Um, now I'm going to put it back together, put the top and the lower together, then I'll put the pins back and it should be fairly clean for the most part. Okay, so put them all back in, all the pins back in. It's one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so what I want to do now. Is make sure everything's working charge it it's charge fire dry fire charge it again everything seemed to be working okay it's good so that's it that's how you uh, clean it I'm guessing hit me in the comments let me know last part I want to do is use my uh, towel and I'm going to come in here and kind of use this stuff here. I don't know if this is the correct stuff to use, but until I get alcohol, this is what I'm going to do. It's non, uh, non-toxic biodegradable formula, so it shouldn't, you know, mess the paint up on here, I'm hoping. So I get in here and get all this thing oil off that I put on here with my dirty hands so it won't be so dirty and oily. So I get all that off. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a perfectly oiled, clean Chris Vector. So hopefully that this video helps you because I know a lot of people was wondering how to do it. I was wondering how to do it. I just went and basically looked at how to disassemble it. And once I looked at the disassemble, I went on and um, figured out how to do it. OK, so hopefully this helps you uh, uh, figure out how to do it. I mean, because there's no videos on YouTube showing how to uh, do it. Even the Chris Vector site, only thing they show you is how to disassemble the gun. They do not show you how to oil it and clean it. So basically, I clean the barrel, clean the tracks, oil the tracks. I didn't oil the barrel. Don't think we need to oil the barrel because the bullets fly through. I don't know with the oil and fire maybe cause explosions. So let's not. Let's not put oil down the barrel. Don't think we need that. You know, most gun people probably know that, but I'm not a gun expert. So uh tell you that right now. So um, I'm not going to for my own. My own psyche say that I shouldn't put oil down the barrel. <laughs> that just kind of makes sense. That's just kind of a common sense thing. Don't put oil down the barrel. But uh anyway, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate y'all watching my video. DJ Bishop out. Hit me up in the comments. Make sure you share and like this video if this was any help to you. Thank you. Peace.